day three at the Dubai Duty Free decided upon who would make it through to the quarterfinals. And first match on centre court was world number four, Agnieszka Radvanska, against wildcard Yulia Putinseva. And from the start, Radvanska went to the net more often than usual, but Putinseva welcomed the challenge. Wow, she's made that. A half volley passing shot winner. Now that's pretty special. There were many breaks of serve in the first set, and Putinseva began to make crucial errors. Yeah, a couple of unforced errors. She is challenging this, but yeah, I'm sure that's uh, in hope rather than expectation. Yeah, a country mile out. And the first set is Radvanska's after 62 minutes. Having taken the first set, Radvanska continued to apply pressure by going to the net. Oh, it's the old adage, get one more ball back into play, your opponent may miss. The young Kazakhstani continued to make errors. That could be the decisive moment. Radvanska's experience showed through as she capitalised on her opponent's mistakes to take the match. Just wide. She is challenging, but I think that did just miss. And the brave challenge of Yulia putin saver ends. She has given the defending champion a real fright. Next up, the Italian number two, Roberta Vinci, faced out of form number four seed, Angelique Kerber. Vinci showed touches of class from the opening exchanges in this match. Brilliant drop shot from Vinci. I think that's one of the best we've seen all week. And plenty of mistakes gave Vinci an opportunity for the set. Not this time. Fourth set point, good enough for Vinci, and she takes the opening set against the fourth seed. Kerber lost the first set 5-7, and more mistakes meant the contest was soon beyond reach for the German. Well, we've seen it all now. That's poor. The match took just one hour and 11 minutes. Finishes with an ace and a love game. Well, it's a fabulous win for Vinci in terms of the ranking of the opponent, but there's no celebration because in the end she had nothing to beat. The pick of the matches from court number one saw two former Grand Slam winners, Petra Kvitova face Anna Ivanovic. Kvitova raced into an early 5-2 lead, but Ivanovic wasn't going to give up. Oh, excellent play from Ivanovic. She really is fighting back in this first set. The serve brought the match to 5 all before this important break. Right through again to Kvitova. And so Kvitova stepped up at the crucial moment of the set. Oh. A shot of real quality to finish. After taking the first set 7-5, Kvitova again began to take control of the match. That hitting once again so close to the line. This seemed to be the catalyst for Ivanovic to get back into gear and mount another comeback. Oh, what a match this is turning into. Ivanovic holding on. Ivanovic was now in control and the match went to a tie-break. Oh, stunning from Ivanovic again. However, in the tie-break, the match swung heavily in the favour of Kvitova. And Kvitova this time does close it out. Well, under the lights, we have been treated to a real fight here in Dubai. The big news of the day came when the world number one, Serena Williams, dropped out of the competition only one day after Victoria Azarenka had done the same. Could you explain to everybody, Serena, why you are going to play the scene? Yeah, I'm just not well, my back. If you guys know any athlete, and we're all athletes really are injured, but right now I'm just really can't move, and it would be a horrible performance for you guys. There was a special guest appearance for the last match on centre as former World Cup winner Diego Maradona held the coin toss for Sara Irani and Sorana Kirstea. Irani, perhaps spurred on by Maradona, soon went into a four-love lead, but her Romanian opponent soon showed her ability. Beautiful. 
The fight back was in full swing and Kirstea had a chance to level the match to four all. So a run of four games each, it's four all first set. But Irani held her composure better than her opponent. Well that was almost just anger. Yeah, it was a slashed forehand, wasn't it? And what a shame, having really got herself back involved, but didn't panic, Irani. Closes out the set. At 2-1 in the second set, Irani called upon the trainer after some trouble with her thigh, which needed heavy strapping. But this didn't hamper her as she soon grabbed a break. Breaks to love. Two games in a row on the restart. It's all Irani right now. And Irani proved too strong in the end. That'll do it. First quarter final here. Fourth of 2013. The left leg seemed fine. Precautionary taping, you would imagine. She felt something, but it didn't hinder her. And she is through in an hour and 36 minutes.